sister and brother surfers of the binary ocean. In this video, I'm going to show you how to handle command line arguments in your C program. We're going to create a new Xcode project. If you're not using Xcode, that's fine. You can just uh, you can just use a regular, you know, whatever you would normally use to make a C program. In our Xcode project, we're going to choose Mac OS. And then under the applications there, you want to choose command line tool, hit next, name your program. I'm just going to name it arg, like a pirate or like arguments being passed into C. We wanna um, notice I had the language set to C there. I'm just gonna save it onto my desktop. And here we go, we have our project and we have our file that it created for us. And it actually created uh, what we need to pass in arguments already. These are the two arguments that we need in our main function in order to uh, to accept arguments into our C program. So we can we can run this program right now and it'll work just fine. It, you don't need to pass in arguments. Give it a minute to build there. There we go, hello world. You can see at the bottom here. But we can pass in arguments. In Xcode, if you're just gonna run your program with this play button, you can pass in arguments that way. Um, so there's two ways to do it. You can do the, a hotkey. So it's command, shift, comma, and that's gonna bring up this window, or you can just go to product, scheme, edit scheme, and then go to the arguments tab. So I, I like doing the command, shift, comma, uh, it just brings you right there. And then you can, you can want, if you have that, you know, mem muscle memory for that hotkey, uh, you can, you know, change your arguments all the time or easily, so. Um, let's just say, uh, let's, let's see, we'll just say Joseph Kreit, okay, so I'm going to pass in two arguments right now, we'll run it, see it just, it runs just fine, we're just not handling, we're not doing anything with those arguments, so what we want to do now is we want to handle those arguments, so the two things that we, we the two tools that C kind of gives us to handle these arguments is this argc, and this arg v, those are, uh, you know, those are what our arguments are gonna get stored as. So this arg c is the number of arguments that were passed in, and this arg v is the arguments themselves. And it's an array of the arguments. So let's, uh, let's say print f your name is, and then remember I put Joseph for the first argument. We'll just do one argument for now. So I just uncheck that. You can uncheck that just to take an argument away. It's kind of nice. Your name is, and then, um, oh, and then we need a string formatter here. And we'll put a new line just to make things nice. Then we need to, for our string formatter, we need to access our argv array. Actually, it's probably argument vector. That's probably what that V stands for. So now let's run this and see we're, we're getting the first value of the array. Well, we're getting the second value of the array because arrays start at zero with C. So let's see what we get here. Joseph, that's the first argument. If we do zero, I believe that gives the name of the program. No, it just gives some, yeah, well, the, the f gives the, yeah, this is the the actual executable, I think, of the program and its file path. So, uh, so arg1, we can, if I go back to our arguments and I turn on the number two there, so now we have a second argument and I say number two, we get the second argument there. So the way to handle this is you want to kind of check to see how many arguments were passed into the program in most cases. So let's uh, let's just make a little bit of a build our program out a little bit. So if arg c, the argument I believe that stands for uh, character. No, that would be arg. What would that stand for? It's an integer. Arg count probably uh, equals two. Then we'll do the print f. Your name is percent s. 
Now this might look, this might, you might be like wondering what's going on here kind of for a minute and I'll explain here because if there's two arguments, we're saying your first name is, but it's not because remember that first argument is the program file name location. So there's always gonna be one argument. So if there's two, that really means that the user actually passed in one argument. Uh, we'll say else if argc is greater than two, we'll say greater than three. Uh, we'll say this equals three. Print f, let's just copy this. Your last name is argument two. And of course the user would have to know, you know, which argument to pass in is which. Um, else if arg c is greater than three. So we want to handle if they passed in more than three. And we'll say print f. Uh, too many args you passed. This time we need percent %d because we're actually going to print, we're not printing a, um, a character, we're printing a number. And it's gonna be argc minus one. And the reason it's minus one is once again, because there's that, that first value is the name of the program. So argc minus one is gonna be the actual number of arguments that the user passed into the program. And let me go back to our arguments thing. Okay, so we're passing in two arguments. So let's uh, let's see what happens when we run this now. Oh wait, let's do one more else, just a kind of a catch-all. This will be print f. Please provide a command line argument when running the program. This is that this is a new line character. This just makes this program ended part show up on the next line instead of smushing it all on the same line with that. That. So in case you were wondering what that is. Um, all right, and we're returning zero to at the end of our function just to indicate that it was successfully completed. And we'll say play. Your last name is Crite. Okay, so um, we could do. Let's see if. If two, your first name is, and then if three, we want to do this. There we go. So let's try that. Might work a little better. So your first name is Joseph, your last name is Crite. Let's pass in just one argument and run it. Your first name is Joseph. Let's pass in three arguments. Bob. Poor Bob. Getting him involved in this mess. Too many args. You passed three. So it, see, it, you can count how many arguments have been passed in with this argc. You just check against it, which is can be very handy. Um, you know, if if you're going to run your program a different way based on how many arguments the user has passed in. And then let's try just passing zero arguments in. So we'll just uncheck all of these and we'll run our program. And it says, please provide a command line argument when running the program. That's our catch all else there. So that's it. That's how you handle arguments in a C program. Thanks for watching. Peace out.